possible here at Weta. From makeup to miniatures to computer animation, this is where the visual effects were created for such movies as Lord of the Rings, Narnia, and Avatar. But what they really enjoy is building these. We're here at Peter Osberg, the welding base supervisor who was part of the team that made this incredible, incredible machine. We had Halo Movie come along, uh, and the requirement for that was the vehicle, the Warthog, to be taken out of the Xbox game um, and turned into reality. How did you even begin? I mean, the process is absolutely amazing to me. Well, it's actually, I went next door and borrowed the neighbor's Xbox, and I'd, I'd heard of Halo, never played it. And I sat there for 10 minutes, 15 minutes, and I couldn't get through the first screen to the Warthog. So I got a 10-year-old kid over from next door, and he yeah, got me to the Warthog, and then I played it. And that was sort of the introduction to it. Wow. And that, um, of course, that's what this is called. This is the Warthog. This is the Warthog. And taking an imaginary, computer-generated vehicle and turning it into a full-size, fully operational, four-wheel drive truck is no easy task. But the team here at Weta made it happen and, as always, did it under a tight deadline. Building these kinds of high-performance concept cars and trucks begins at the drawing board, or should I say, the computer screen. And whenever there's a project requiring automotive design, it usually ends up on the desk of Aaron Beck and Christian Pierce. It's so much fun walking around this place. I mean, every room you go into, there's all this creativity going on. But these are the car crazy guys, right? <laughs> whenever it has anything to do with a car, we, we, you, yeah, you, we you're, the car, yeah. you're the co-to guys, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, there's uh, heaps of fun stuff to work on here, but any sort of vehicle comes up, we're fighting to get on uh, it. It's fantastic. Of course, I mean, you have great credentials behind you. I mean, you've worked on... I mean, Narnia and Lord of the Rings and... Avatar, King Kong. District 9. I think it's safe to say you're pretty good designers. I think we're, <laughs> we're lucky designers. Yeah, and it's what so you can get pretty extreme with your art. If you want to go off into a kind of almost a cartoon rage or something outrageous, you can do that. Yeah, we definitely get projects that can go pretty out there, but most of the stuff, if we know it has to get built here, you have uh -huh. to keep it pretty realistic. Yeah. And that's something that we've really learned in our time here is um, to... Uh, quickly be able to see a realistic design, a buildable design, and a fantastic design. As a car manufacturer, it takes years from, I mean, if you're lucky enough to have a design picked up to, to go to concept stage and then to fruition, I mean, it's a long process. Yeah. Help us understand what that process is like. Well, we're the designers, and once the once the director has selected something that we've that we've designed, it'll move off into um, 3D modeling often, and then often we'll mill out a model, and the director can see it in 3D, and from there we can mill out life-size molds, and build the cage and all the mechanics and everything and yeah get a fully working vehicle in a pretty short period of time yes. often. So how short a period of time? How many months? Two or three. I mean where else on the planet can you have that <laughs> opportunity? When we come back I'll be taking my turn behind the wheel of that amazing warthog. Well, what is a one-of-a-kind experience? Then we'll not only delve deeper into how Weta actually builds these vehicles, we'll also take a look behind the scenes at a few of their other fascinating projects. This is a print. That's a print. That's a 3D printed print. printed this out. Don't go away.